Why? Guys, bad news. I have to return it. Hello you lot, thanks for tuning in. How are you all? Bad news. I have to send my ZV-E1 back to Sony. Don't know what to say. So where to start? Quick answer, overheating issues, unusable. I'm sorry. I tried. I was actually filming a nice video right now on this camera, trying to inspire you to get this camera, go out there and start filming. So uh, going back to my issues, I purchased the camera last week, five days ago. I've been using it for since then, basically. I did a vlog in London outdoors two days ago. I didn't really have any issue with it, apart from seeing an icon on the monitor once in a while. It was a thermometer. So the temperature of the camera was too high and it's, it was indicating on the monitor. That day though, the camera never turned off. I was outdoors filming short clips, 10, 15 seconds clips. We walked around, it was quite chilly outside. It never really turned off. Then in the evening, I go home and I, I'm customizing all my buttons. I was scrolling through the menu for around 10 minutes. The camera shut down just by scrolling through the menu. I got the warning, you get a warning, say, hey, the camera uh, temperature is too high, it's gonna shut down. It did, and uh, I got worried, so I said, okay, you know what, the next day I'm actually on a professional shoot filming in a plastic surgery clinic. Let me test it as a second camera, luckily. I had my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, which I'm using right now as the main camera, and uh, I was just taking some clips on the Sony as well, the ZV-E1. It turned off a few times, so I got the warning again on the monitor, the thermometer icon, and it was shutting down. Then you can find an option in the menu saying you can reduce the threshold of this warning, high temperature warning, so if you want just, you know, turn it off, but at your own risk basically, so the camera can still shut down and I turned it off. I filmed six short interviews with the surgeons, maybe two minutes each. Nothing happened, so the camera was still on, which is great. And this is some of the footage we filmed, which is actually really lovely footage, I have to be fair. <laughs> I want to love this. I really want it, because the portability is amazing. I'm going on a trip soon, and it would have been perfect, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And last night as well, I was uh, testing it out, just pressing rack and keeping recording for uh, 10, 15 minutes clips. Nothing happened. I left it on the table. It kept going and I went, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it and uh, really try it out and test it during my holiday. Right now, I was filming this new vlog trying to explain why I still love this camera and how creators could benefit from it. And after five minutes, seven minutes filming, I can actually check it out. Look at this. I'm gonna tell you. So 13 minutes and 32 seconds. That's how much I used the camera. Just talking to the camera on a tripod and uh, I know the camera is targeting bloggers and once again, that's all the, the Sony YouTubers are promoting out there. You know, it's like, ah, you shouldn't uh, really take into consideration long clips and blah, 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 because it's not for professional use. But to be fair, as a vlogger, sometimes, as I'm doing right now, I talk to the camera for 10, 20 minutes, depending on the subject I'm talking to, reviews, when I'm around traveling, I talk to the camera a lot. And my gear has to keep up. It doesn't, ZV-1 can't do that. And uh, I just filled in my return form because also I paid 
hundred pound, twenty three fifty, and uh, I can't spend that that amount of money if the gear is not working. Uh, once again, I love a lot of the features in this thing: the portability, the size, the quality of the videos, the slow motion, the dynamic active stabilization, the flip screen monitor. It literally had a lot of features I wanted and it would have been perfect for my next trip, but it has to go. If you guys had the same issue, drop a comment down here. I want to hear it. And I wanted to make this video to share my experience as soon as I could. So you could avoid the same issues or maybe you still want to grab it. And uh, <laughs> Two days ago, I released my first video about this camera, explaining 10 reasons why I got it. And I was so excited. Apparently, this is the ultimate vlogging camera. That's why I've got it right here today. We're gonna check it out. I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why I got it. So excited about it. And uh, again, I said, you know what? Even if it overheats a little bit, I'm gonna keep it. I'm sure it, it will keep up. And actually it doesn't and I want to have some gear that can, and I need to think about a different option. I hope you still enjoyed my first video, and uh, the good thing of this stuff happening is that I love to test the gear myself, and that's part of the subject of my vlog I was recording before this, because we watch a lot of videos online, we rely on people and uh, people's needs and requirements which are different from each other. So I might need something that for Potato Jet is not, you know, important or for uh, Matty Apoja, uh, yeah, he doesn't care about this stuff or whatever. So my advice, go out there, test the gear yourself, make up your own mind. Don't watch dozens of videos online because you're only gonna get confused. You don't have to spend 2,500 pound or so to buy the gear, but there are a lot of rental companies that can rent you out the gear for one or two days. Put your hands in it, test all the features out, different conditions, and see if it matches your requirements. I hope you could help out. Sorry about the bad news, but uh, again, that's my experience. I need to go and open the, to the post office guy. We were saying, talking about gear, I think I just got my DJI Avada remote controller too. Uh, let's see if that's right. Yeah, wow, really bad packaging, guys. Really bad. All right, so I'm gonna test this out. Stay tuned on the channel, because more videos about the Avada are coming soon too. Hope the video helped out. And the bad news, say bye-bye to the ZV-E1. I'll see you in the next video, guys.